Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to another video of Dyson Sphere Program. This is the problem, is I'm not making enough plastic for it to be able to get through. I need to treble the amount of plastic that I'm producing. I gotta go, I gotta extend it out this way by a very, very long way. In order to be able to do that bit. Okay, I'm going to ignore that for a minute. And I want to go in here. So it is an orbital interstellar. Orbital, that's the one that we want. Orbital collector. We want to make one of these. Accum I, whoa, what? Power storage. The accumulator in the fully charged state, when the power is sufficient, can be constructed as a facility to automatically discharge. Or it can be placed in an energy exchanger to release electrical energy. I need 20 full accumulators. I didn't even know that you could, like, pick them up as full. Okay, this is so cool. We've only used up three of them. Well, we're, we're burning the third one now. I have a couple of accumulators over here. Like, this, this, is, this is not an odd thing, having these accumulators. They're all full. Now, I also have a facility over this way somewhere. Here it is. I had those bits there, and, and I had accumulators that I was also making. There's the accumulators. And I had them making in here. So I changed this one over. But if I need to be... You know what? I'm just going to take a couple stacks of these like that. And then I'm going to put a couple stacks of these back so that I'm not kind of making excess uh that would make 40 right there and for this one i need 20 that are full so i'll now go and take these 40 energy accumulators that i've got and we're gonna put them let's try and put them down over here and then see if we can't fill them up and i guess we then just pick them up afterwards i mean first up let's just go and pick one of them up here and see what that does so Yes, right, okay, so that's actually a separate entity to what I've got right there. Right, well, we live and learn there, so I can go and put that one down there like that. But can I put down a... Can I put down an empty one? Uh, a full one, rather? Looking in through here. Um, huh. Well, I've got that, but if I go... Oh, I can. I can go and put it back down again. I've just got to actually manually select it from in my inventory rather than doing it the other way. So then if I look at that one, that one is accumulating at the moment. Right, so if I... That's just gone to be a regular accumulator, whereas these are all full... I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 right there. So I'm going to go right away. I'm not going to go right away across all of them. I'm going to do that. 7, 8, 9. That makes 10. So there. I'm going to pull 40 of these out and then I'll go and put down the full, the empty ones that I've got. These are all full. Right, I'll take all of those. That's 40 of them, bad boys. And then if I go and take... Wait, why is that saying 60? That shouldn't be saying 60. That's full accumulator. Full accumulator there. Oh, I picked up 60 of them. I didn't realise I'd done that. Right, well, I guess that's not a bad thing. We can put down 60 then. Put those there like that. Actually, if I'm going to put down 60 of them, I'll remove another 20 back here and I'll replace them with 60 empty accumulators. And we'll put them all in like this. Right, I've just got to run them through here. Again, this is where the update is going to be absolutely beautiful. 
Having the ability to place blueprints down is just going to be wonderful. It's going to be absolutely exquisite. I know, I think there's going to be a slight issue with blueprints, personally. I think it's going to cause a little bit of a problem um, just with the way that the planetary curve works. So I'm curious how it's going to kind of set things out on the grid because obviously like with Factorio and the grid system there the grid is the same wherever you go because essentially we're not I mean yes there is a map but the map is infinite and um like yes you are in theory on an alien planet but you're actually in a Minecraft world rather than a planet world because there's no curvature uh, Factorio has no Earth curvature whatsoever, and I think that makes the difference. I think that kind of, like, separates Factorio from this one. So I'm curious how the blueprint system is going to work with the grid changing shape. Because the grid does get to, like, we've actually had trouble placing things down. Sort of, we can place things up here, but then when we go to place it down here on the grid, because it's already narrowed a little bit... Uh, it doesn't place down properly, and I'm wondering how the blueprint system is going to cope with that little anomaly that there is with um, dropping stuff onto the planets. We'll see. Watch this space type of thing, I think that is. I can make one of these, uh, because I've got a shortage of everything else. I, I want to make three. Oh, wow, okay. I need a whole load of those, I need a whole load of those. So I've got three of these. Next, I need the Interstellar Logistics Station, which is this one up here, and to do... Wow, okay. I need particle containers to make those. So I need three of these, which means I need 60 particle containers. Now, I just happen to know where there might be some particle containers. So we're going to go for a little bit of a jaunt over here, and lo and behold, there were some particle containers. So how many of these do I need? Right here. Wait, what? Planetary? No way. No freaking way, man. How many of these particle containers do I need? Good gravy. Right, so I need to make three of these. I need 120 of them. I need 120 of them. I've got and 120 of them. I've got somewhere. Yes, I have up there. And I need the particle containers. So I need 60 particle containers just to make these three planetary logistics systems. Then we got interstellar logistics systems. The Magnificent Space Elevator realizes more convenient transport of materials between planets. It can connect factories on different planets to form a gigantic industrial empire. Now we've already got a couple of those. The hub of planetary logistics systems, this is the one that just settles down here on this planet. So we've got that one as well. So I want 60 of these to make three of them. So we'll go, I'll take 150 right now because that's what we got down there. And then I can go back into this one. So I want to go to that one and I want to make three, oh, actually let's, let's click three separate ones. One, two, three. So I've got three of those now being made. We've used up a couple of stacks of our items. Let's just pop those back up. And I'm going to wait for those three to finish making. Going to cancel that last one because it says I've got three planetary logistics systems here. I already had one that I'd made. So we'll cancel the last one and keep the ingredients because we may very well need them. So next I want three interstellar logistics. I need... 120 titanium alloy i've got several hundred of those and i need another 60 particle containers i just so happen to have those as well so we're going to go one and two and three we're going to make them that leaves us with exactly 60 particle containers it's fortunate that we already had one planetary logistics station i mean the particle containers i can make them by hand it seems but i just got to wait for those and then we are wanting to make these so I'm going to need 150 of these. I'm going to have to go and get some more magnetic coils. I only need to get one stack. Fortunately, I don't need to get very many of those. I'm actually going to get 100 of them, 150. So I've got a few spare stacks sitting on me because I'll use up a load of those. I'll want some more in a bit. Uh, wait, well, I've only got 50 particle containers. But I need more of those. I need... 
Oh, I don't need any particle containers now. Right, we've got a spare 50. We have spare of those. I need the reinforced thrusters in here. That requires elect five electromagnetic turbines and five titanium alloy. I've got the titanium alloy to be able to make these. Let's go back up to that one. I need 20 of these all together. 20 of these. Now, see, I've only got the materials to make one of the uh, orbital collectors. I want to make three. We're not going anywhere unless we can make a full three. So I've got all of those. It's these reinforced thrusters that I need to make. Got to make those by hand. So there's times 20. Five times 20 is 120. Hey, wait. Oh, yeah. 120. 120 of those electromagnetic turbines and 120 of these. I've actually got the 360 of those that I'm going to need, but I don't have 360 electromagnetic turbines. And that is the bit that is giving me a little bit of issue because that's the storage for it. And yeah, I just, I just don't have the storage for it. I don't have the storage for those either. So I'd have to make it all from scratch, which basically means I'm going to need lots of magnetic coils. I'm going to have to make all of these in my hand. Lots of iron ingots and lots of gears. Or is, is it? Yes. I need all three of those. So I need a whole load of iron ingots. I need a whole load of gears. And I need a whole load of magnetic coils. I'm not even going to bother trying to find out how many of those we're going to need. We're just going to take lots until I can make three lots of these. So I'm going to take that one. I'm going to go one, two, three, four hundred of them. I'm going to go to iron storage over here. I'm going to go one, two, three, four hundred of those. And I'm going to go to the coils right here. I'm going to click on that one. I'm going to go one and two. And I'm going to pop that one out to a full stack there. So then if I go into here and I go to that one, I can now make two of these. I still don't have enough materials. I'll do one there. And I'm making these thrusters. I'll do another one there. And I'm making the thrusters. I've got to make 136 of those. And I've got to make 68 of them in order to make 20 of these. I've got the other materials here, so I need 20 thrusters in here. Um, I can make 11. I have the materials to make 11. Um, what am I going to be making these out of? i got those, and i got those. And it's the gear. I've got the gear. I've, I should have it. One. Oh. Ten of these to make five of these. Two. It's the iron I don't have. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and I've run out of iron. And I'm also running out of these coils. Let's let those keep making. And I want to go into here. So I'm going to take two more stacks of those, and I'm going to go into the iron. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stacks of them. And I'm going to come back out. So I've got 11 thrusters being made at the moment. Reinforced thruster right there. Uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. When all of those 20 have been made, I will then be able to construct the third and final orbital collector that I need right there. Rather than waiting for this thing to actually finish making, because research speed too slow. Really? Research speed again? Just, just, just stop. Stop before you hurt yourself. Um, yeah, rather than waiting for another five minutes for all of that to finish, what we're going to do is we're going to race off over here. I've got... We'll, actually, you know what? I'm going to deal with the plastic another time. I have got plenty of fuel now. I don't need to worry about fuel. What's going to happen is that I'm not going to worry about fuel at all. And I'm going to end up running out of fuel at some point. Right, cell mode. Um, tab to unlock the cursor. I'm not worried about that. I want to go to Capella 3 over here. So we're going to use the sail mode, and I am burning through my energy a little bit. And there, I've sail mode is ended. So what I've got at the moment, I'm sitting on the gas giant. 
Just cruising. Minding my own business. Making more of these. So what I want to do is I want to make and I want to place an orbital collector. So that'll go under gathering. No, it won't. Okay, so what do I put it under? Transportation? Orbital collector can only be built at the equator. Right, so I've got to go and find the equator now. Problem with this gas giant is that the equator it could be anywhere. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to go out into space and I'm going to see if I can find the equator. There's the equator right there. So we're going to come back down in and... I'm going to come this way. Right, let's see what this does. Transportation. I'm on the equator. Aren't I? I'm looking at the map in the bottom corner. So I'm going to sort of follow that map and I'm going to see if that one brings me up to the equator. So I'm looking like the... Oh, really? It's literally this line right here is the only line that we can build on. But that is apparently the equator right there. I've got a second orbital collector has now been constructed. If we take a look in here, we've got the last one is now building. That'll take a minute. It's got to construct everything. So let's pop that one down there. Let's see what this does. You go right in there, orbital collector. That is you have built an orbital Ooh. collector, which can collect the resources of this gas giant automatically. The logistics vessel will come to pick up the cargo as long as you set these resources as interstellar demand at other sites. Furthermore, to maintain the collector working, the collected resources will be transferred to energy in the first place. Right, well that's simple enough to understand and simple enough to go and do. So we've got storage in transit and max. It will power itself using the fuel that it harvests. We've got deuterium right in here. We've currently got seven there. And we've also got a massive amount of hydrogen being pulled up as well now i've got two of these so i'm just going to set this one here to uh local so we're going to set that one to remote supply remote storage remote supply yeah right that's going to be remote supply. So when we get a demand for that, we'll then have a ship come in and gather it up. So I can't actually go and place ships in here manually by the look of it. Like we can with some of the others, but I mean, that doesn't really matter, does it? So I'll get the next one that I've got right here. This is too close to another one. So we're just going to bring this one on over a little bit further, too close to another logistic station. Anywhere else it won't let me. I've just got to put it along the equator. There is the second one. Pop that one down there. We have now got two of these. And we've got the sun up there. Okay, this, this looks very, very cool. This planet spins around at an incredible speed. For a gas giant, like, it seems to be that the day-night cycle seems to be a lot faster than the little tiny planet that we've got, which is essentially a moon to this planet. This is whizzing around at breakneck speeds. It is absolutely incredible. But I do really love this machine. I think this thing looks absolutely wickedly cool. It is very, very awesome. I'm just waiting out the third one being built. I'm just going to set that there to... That's also set to remote supply at the moment. So you've got local storage, remote supply. So it's, it's literally... We can have remote storage or remote supply. Is there isn't anything else to do on that one? That There's no other settings to have on it. So we don't really need to make any major changes to it anywhere. 
And there we have the third and final orbital collector right there. So we're going to just come out along here and we're going to put that third one down. There's a lot of materials gone into this, but we now have three orbital collectors. And that one, again, you can see it's already set to remote supply and starting to gather up materials. If I go and have a look in this one in here, we're about halfway full. Of, well, not quite halfway full on the hydrogen in there and uh, we've got 67 deuterium in here as well so now what I want to do is I want to leave this planet like that there we go and I want to head back to our own planet down here so we're going to take a short hop and a whiz bang down to here and then what I'm going to want to do is I need to make an interstellar logistics station with a request on it to bring back hydrogen and deuterium from the foreign parts. So that's going to be our next bit that we're going to go and do. I just want to take a little bit of a whiz on around the planet here. And... Right, it's over here that we want to get to. So we're not able to go and make, well, we are kind of making these, but we're, we're a little bit short on plastic in places, which is causing us some problems. So we're going to need to be able to make more plastic, although the plastic does actually seem to be coming through a bit. I guess these crystals have backed up now. Yeah, they have a bit. Right. So I need to put down another interstellar thing. Need to put down another one of these. I've got three requests coming in for that one, so I don't, I can't really have anything coming in for that one. And I don't have any others, do I? Not at the moment. I've got two lots of silicon and I've got one lot of titanium coming in there. So I need to build a new one of those. If we can make some particle containers over... I haven't got any particle containers. We Oh, wait. I, I, I don't need actually that many. So I need to do a planetary logistic. I can make one of those. I can't do this one because I don't have the titanium. I can go over to here, though, and I can get the titanium. One, two, three, four, five, like that. There. Stack that all up. And then I've got five titanium, uh, five crystal silicon here. Why I'm holding five crystal silicon. That's got a whole load in storage. I just want to find somewhere to dump these five crystal silicon. See, I've, I've got loads of it in storage everywhere. That's all full. You're not even using it. Who's using crystal silicon? Someone must be using it. It's not that one. No. You come in through there. You're not using crystal silicon in there. No, you're using those. I've got... The, it, it goes into that, and it goes into the storage in here. And that comes out over to the accumulators. Over oh, this, the accumulators. Is that it? Is it just the accumulators? The reason I stopped making the accumulators is because they require these super magnetic rings to go and make. And the super magnetic rings require a whole load of these, to, the, the turbines to go make. And yeah, I kind of don't really want to be doing that too much. So at the moment, I got the storage pulling these out and they're prioritizing the rings over anything else that I'm making. So I've got to wait for those to back up before it sends them out over to be used elsewhere down over here. I got to do something about these engine units, haven't I? But anyway, um, we're not we're, we're not worried about that. So I, it's that one right there. I've now got these. I want to build one of those like that, and then as soon as that one is built, we can go and place it down. So that's going to get us more deuterium and more hydrogen. I got hydrogen coming in here to our main area right here. I got deuterium being used over this side. It's actually being stored over this side. So I guess I don't really need to have an output for deuterium just yet. That'll be something that we can work on in a bit. If I go to components in here, I'm going to need the logistics vessels right there. The interstellar one. Small carrier rocket. Delivery of Dyson Sphere components. I don't want that one. It's this one right here that I want to make. Now I can make 10 of these. 
I think 10 is about the number that I'm going to want. Let's go to uh, transportation right here, and I can have this bad boy here. Now, I'm going to actually bring that one over this side. Uh, I'm going to place it all the way over there. So that one's going to be plonked down there. It's going to give us a little bit more soil, and then I can go and take this and I can put that one out there on that corner and I'll have another one over here somewhere right so we've now got power going into this one I can have drones put into the base of this machine and I can also put logistics vessels in here I think we want 10 logistics vessels I've got materials there to make 11 so if I go I, mean, I guess maybe if we just go with five Oh, wow. <laughs> I've got to make all of these. I forgot about that. Uh, then logistics drones. I've got drones on everything else, so I'm, I'm kind of thinking I don't need to worry about making too many drones in here. I guess I could drop 10 of them in. So I'll drop 10 drones in here and make those. But, oh, of course, because those only require the small thrusters. They just require standard thrusters. Uh, these interplanetary ones, they require the reinforced thrusters, and that's what takes all this. So this is going to take a little while before that is ready. So while we're waiting for that, uh, we're going to go into here, and we're going to have a selection on here. That is going to be hydrogen, and that is going to be local supply, uh, remote demand. That pulls in from elsewhere, I believe. I think that's what we're supposed to do. And then I'm going to do the same with deuterium right here. That's going to be exactly the same. Remote supply is going to be remote demand. So that it's bringing it this way instead of sending it that way. And then local supply is where it comes out from here. So then I can go over this side. Uh, the miniature particle colliders. We're using up already a fair bit of hydrogen from that. But I'm actually making at the moment more hydrogen than I'm consuming. So I don't need to worry about that bit too much just yet. Although I'd probably like to make some more of these. I do want to get that deuterium back and being stored in there. So, I mean, if I could make some more uh, tanks to store a, a bigger quantity of deuterium in, I feel that would probably be beneficial to us. I can make 18 of these right here. I'm going to go with... Uh, how many can I put in a stack now? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I'll go with one and two. I will make ten of those. So I've got two more stacks, which will be for deuterium. I've already got plenty of um, hydrogen storage over that way down over there. So I don't need to worry about that for a minute. And then the other thing that I want to go and make is some more of these so I can make some more plastic. I can only make four of these because I have a shortage of glass. I've got the other material. Yeah, I've got all the other materials. But I have a bit of a shortage of glass, so I need to go and get a bit of that, and then I can make some more chemical plants, and we can start making more plastic. So we'll zoom in here, shall we? Where did I put the glass? There it is. Glass is down there. One, two, three, like that. That should be plenty. And I can... Right, mechanical frame level six, plus one meter per second mecha move speed. You obtain faster move speed. Right. We've got the next bit researching. I'll sort that out in a second. Was it, Oh, I want to make more chemical facilities. Chemical plants right in here. So I've got 19 now. I'll go with five of them. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.